Hey Patrick, this is Jesse and I am up here looking at your job site and your work and it looks like you're doing a great job and you're off to a great start. And um, let me just give you a couple little uh, pro tips and observations. Basically, um, you did a really good job of clearing out the organics in here and you have basically undisturbed soil exposed now since you've removed the grasses and the organic material out of here. There's a little bit of darker organic stuff over in that corner that you might just touch up just a little bit. It's negligible in terms of the overall performance of your pad. So, you know, it's not absolutely critical that you get that out of there, but you could do a little bit more cleanup here just to get the, the sand, you know, some of this stuff. This is this is basically what you want. Uh, this is, you know, this is sand. This is stable, stable ground. It's not moving. So through here, um, because it's not very much elevation that you're coming up, you can basically just compact this with your foot. And what you're going to want to do is get some water involved and get this nice and wet. Not necessarily um, mud or saturated per se, but just enough water to where you can form a, uh, a dirt clod and it'll kind of stick together. So this is a little dry, see? And what that does is it, it basically... Um, it lubricates the, the particles so that they can all interlock together real nice. So you get this a little bit wet and Luna would have a great time helping you with this. And then you basically just step it in like that. And it doesn't take much. Um, this uh, unit here can also be used for compaction. And you can just kind of slam that in there. Um, but it's a little it's a little wide for your trench here and then actually what you're gonna want to do Patrick let's kind of back up a little bit if, if you really want to maybe you know rather than using because it looks like you got some organics in here um, and the, the organics are gonna decompose over time and they're gonna lose volume and lose structure and then you'll have a little bit of settling it's it's not even really going to be enough to be noticeable because this is such a small application but if you want to remove or reduce that you can pull this material out of here and just put it on the downslope side there and you can you can build up down there a little bit with any excess material that you have you can take that there and, and kind of put it down here and just uh skirt it out like an apron down here and then fill in this little crack right behind there with with your your imported material that's really good structural material there that's going to hold up just fine and because you basically have uh, a small enough lift you know your elevation here is only coming up an inch or two you really don't need to do any compaction um, you're not really gaining anything I'm just going to be microns um, that you'll be gaining so you can just you can just go over the whole thing with with this like this if you like or just water it down a few times and and all the fines in there are going to kind of settle down and you'll basically just have a beautiful gravel bed here and you're good to go and put a hot tub on it and then I was going to look and see where your electrical um, panel is because then I can shop around i wonder if we could somehow tie in right there and chase in and get into our electrical that way um i don't know what you're thinking about you guys see you have some some conduit here this is schedule 80 which is ready to go above ground so i'm thinking you're probably thinking about coming up onto the house perhaps or maybe going right along the base there and maybe under the door. And we might be able to shove a little piece of that Schedule 80 under there and somehow hide it for, for good looks. Or maybe we go in over here somewhere. I don't know, but you might make me a quick video on what you're thinking there. You should gotta get your, your gutter fixed. 
Um, tell me what your thoughts are there so I can uh, get an idea and we can uh, float it past a couple of electricians. And basically just getting some nice, getting a wire run and maybe you need to install a circuit and basically just getting some power out to this hot tub and you guys are going to be loving life. I tell you what, I'm so stoked for you guys to be getting a hot tub. It is awesome. It's gonna change your lives. Everything is gonna be happily ever after. So stay focused, stay committed, go the distance, get her done. And that's that. Call me if you need anything else or any other questions. Later.